types of leaves. There are many types of leaves around us and today we shall be studying the complete classification of types of leaves categorized by structure, shape, margin, arrangement and venation. Based upon different parameters, leaves can be categorized as the following. Number 1. Based on structure of the leaves. Looking at the structure of the leaves, we can classify leaves as Simple leaf. It has a single undivided blade. For example, mango and guava. Compound leaf. A leaf made up of multiple leaflets. For example, rose and neem. A compound leaf can further be classified as pinnate leaflets along both sides of a stalk. For example, tamarind and palmate leaflets spread from a single point all around. For example, castor leaf. Number 2. Types of leaves based on shape. Leaves can have a variety of shapes. Based on shape, Leaves can be linear, that is long and narrow, for example, grass. Leaves may also have a spear-like shape. Such leaves are called lanceolates, for example, a willow leaf. Leaves can also be elliptical or oval shaped, for example, a guava leaf. Leaves can be oblong that is longer than wide with parallel sides. For example, banana leaf. Leaves are also of hard shape. These leaves are known as cordate shaped leaves. For example, betel or a pan leaf. Leaves can be lobed with projections. For example, an oak leaf. These are irregular leaves with lobes around. Leaves can also be needle-like slender and pointed. For example, pine leaves. Leaves can also have a spoon shape. Such leaves are known as spatulate leaves. For example, echeveria. Number 3. Leaves can be also be classified based on the type of margin of leaves. Based on margin, leaves can be classified as Entire with a smooth edge, for example, mango. Number two, serrated or saw like teeth margin leaves, for example, rose. Leaves may as well have a margin with teeth pointing outwards. Such leaves are known as dentate, for example, M leaves. Leaves may also have rounded teeth margin. Such leaves are known as crenate shaped leaves, for example, ivy. Leaves may have a lobed margin, deep cuts formed by lobes, for example, oak leaf. Leaves may also have spiny, sharp spines along the edge of the margin, for example, cactus. We can also classify leaves based on the arrangement of leaves on the stem. This is known as phyllotaxy. Based upon phyllotaxy, leaves can be classified as alternate or one leaf per node arrangement. Such arrangement can be seen in China rose. Number two, opposite or two leaves at the same node. Such an arrangement of leaves may be seen in the leaves of guava. Number 3 is the world phyllotoxy, wherein three or more leaves may appear at a single node. Plants like Alstonia have more than 10 leaves from a single node. Lastly, we may classify leaves based on venation, that is the arrangement of veins in the lamina of the leaf. Reticulate venation, wherein the spread of veins on the blade of the leaf is in a net-like pattern. For example, a lemon leaf. Number two, parallel venation. 
In such a type of veins arrangement, the veins run parallel to each other from the midrib towards the lamina of the leaf. Number 3. Dichotomous venation that is the forking veins arrangement. Such type of arrangement can be seen in ginkgo. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.